hey, if you've ever needed to take a part and split it into sections or split it in half so that you can maybe pull it apart or so that you can work on it, there's a tool for that. In Fusion, there's a tool called Split Body. It's under Modify. It will let you separate bodies or components. We can use sketches, surfaces, and planes. If I have a plane that happens to sit in the very middle, let's use mid-plane real quick. I'll choose this side face and this. It creates a plane in the middle. We want to split this using the plane we just created. The body to split is the blue one. The splitting tool is the plane. The plane does run through the entirety of this body. I don't need to extend it, so this option is not going to be required. It's going to split it. And now what you see is this line where the two bodies meet, as well as over in the browser, I can see that there are two bodies. You can toggle the visibility of the two, or you can even get rid of a body. And the preferred way to do this is to right click and choose remove. Remove adds a feature to the timeline and gets rid of it for you, meaning it's editable and you can change your mind later and bring that body back if you need to. Let's go back in time. Before we put in that midpoint, what if I don't have a sketch and I don't have a plane right in the middle? Now, when I look at the reference planes, I don't have a reference plane that sits right in the middle of this part. So there's this fancy new split command well, it's new to me anyways. I actually have never used this before today. Silhouette split. What this does is it lets Fusion guess where the splitting tool should be placed. Let's try it. The first thing you're gonna pick is your view direction. You can use axes or planes. And what I like to think about is it's always going to be perpendicular to the selection item. So this split is gonna be perpendicular to this view this up and down, and I'm doing the solid body. I'll make sure to spit, split the target body as the blue one. So because we picked this vertical axis, we're getting this split line right in the middle. Let's do the alternative. This time choosing the X axis, and this is our target body splitting the solid. We get the perpendicular result with this vertical split body. So kind of a cool tool to save you a little bit of time that you don't even have to have a midplane or a sketch. What if you wanted to split some specific zones of this design so that you can go in and make changes and edits? Now, what I want to include is the entirety of the hole and this little tab, but I don't care about this other stuff. Go to the visual style and choose wireframe so that I can see this really easily when I make my sketch. I'm gonna select this top face and do a new sketch. And I'm just going to sketch some simple lines here. I'm going to start here and I want to be sure, I, I guess I could um, even make jogs here if I want to with our sketch so that it's only going to include the things I really care about. So I have these sketch lines and now I'm going to go to the split body command and I'll choose this as our body to split. Splitting tool is the sketch. It's okay to extend this if you want to. I'll click OK. I now have two bodies and I can easily start working on the ones I care about. I could hide the other body for now and start adding features and making changes to this. What if you wanted to make printing with multiple colors a little bit easier using Fusion? Let's say we want to split this in a really cool way. So from the side, we'll create a sketch with a spline. And this spline is going to be where the two parts are going to kind of go together. And so let's say that, you know, this is going to be my red section and this will be my black section. I'm now going to use the split body command, do S for search. This is the body we're splitting. This is our splitting tool. I'm going to make sure it extends, click OK. You can see how they go together. In fact, I can even use a move command to slide this body up just so I can understand it a little bit better. Hey, this video is brought to you by my Fusion Jumpstart. It's meant to be a comprehensive, easy way for you to ramp up on Fusion. It includes exercises, all the lessons that I think are critical to understand the tool. Go check it out. The link's below. So I bumped into this design challenge a few weeks ago. I was trying to create a, an exhaust hood adapter for my air filtration tool Bofa to my Bamboo Labs. 
And so what I wanted to do was be able to drop in these big magnets so that it'd go right onto my printer, but also so that I could have airflow going through. Now, here was the challenge. I wanted to create all this with a loft. I wanted to shell it. I wanted to leave, let's say, eight millimeters on the shell. But here's the problem, is it was bringing this all the way out, and I didn't want the airflow to come all the way out to this perimeter. So the shell wasn't working for me. I needed to localize this area where I wanted the shell to occur. I sketched a rectangle, I used an extruded surface as my cutter, I then split the body so that I now have two very different bodies to work from. I then do the shell just on this component and I will bring the outer perimeter with the magnet holders in later and combine them back together. So now that I perform the shell, it's gonna work great by selecting these two faces, setting the thickness that I want, and now I can just combine it together into one component. Now, one thing I wanna mention is sometimes you don't need to actually split the entire body. We could come in and create a sketch on this face and sketch the zone that we want to work from. So let's just say this sketch is now creating this area that I wanna do a new feature from. We can use what's called a split face. So it's not doing the full work of taking this body and creating it into two halves, but instead it's splitting this face. The splitting tool is my sketch. Click OK, and now I have a face I can work from. So now it's easy to apply different features to this face without it impacting anything else. I have another example here with the cylindrical part and it's got a couple lugs. I wanna be able to move one of these lugs. So I'm gonna split it away from the body. I'll use the split body command. I'll choose this as my body to split. The splitting tool is this cylindrical face. I'll click it, click okay, and now I have three bodies because that cylindrical face actually separated both lugs from the cylinder. No problem, I could then use the move copy, select this body. We're gonna do a rotate around this axis. Grab the rotation handle, I'll move it over. That's where I want it. Click OK, and now I'll use the combine command to select all of these bodies and add them in back into one. 